Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today we're back on Daryl for a brief little pit. Um, it's a rainy day, week, month. It's springtime in Michigan, so what do you expect? Uh, I'm working on a fuel system here and I'm going to show you guys real quick what I have laid out. Um, some of the stuff's from my air compressor, but what I have here is a Continental um, content sensor for my flex fuel system. I have a pigtail for it. I got this all in a kit from Pace Performance. I'll link to it. Uh, it came with these push connect fittings, which is why I want to show you guys real quick. Um, I'm not really a fan of these because they're pretty easy for people to screw up. But uh, what you do, what you should know, it's not a matter of just ramming the thing on there. This insert actually comes out. You don't need a special tool. I just did it in one hand while you were watching me here. Um, and then you see this lock? You push this on until, see the little tabs? They got to clip around that. All right, now that is totally locked in. Inside here is an O-ring that you probably can't see. Oh, there it is. See the brown thing? That's the O-ring. And there's also a lip in here. It's kind of hard to catch. But trust me, there's a lip that these tabs catch on. So see how this one, I forced this on really hard, but it's not all the way in. Um, so I'm going to clamp that on like so. Or pop that on. And then I'm going to get a clamp and I'm going to compress it until both of those lock in. And I'll bring you guys back and show you that in a moment here. Pretty straightforward. I just pinched in that C-clamp until it was all the way down like this. And now it's going to be very difficult to get out without a tool. Um, then I have a male-to-male Six -male AN. I actually bought it for this Toyota, but I wound up not using it. Male-to-male uh, -male Six AN and then a ship box supply. Uh, 100 micron fuel filter, which is ironic and weird that uh, I think Snake Eater sells these or advertises these. And they advertise them as 10 micron and Shipbox advertises them as 100 micron. And I'm going to say it's 100 micron. But anyway, it's a stainless steel mesh inside and a clamp. I think that I'm going to throw it right here on the firewall by the heater core right here. Um... And my fuel line currently goes that way. I was just looking at my down pipe. What I'll probably do is, uh, this actually doesn't quite fit because it's I need to cut like an inch off of it. But I think I might come in and cut it much, much smaller right away, like right up here by this dirty spot. And then just, is this a four inch down pipe? I might just cut it right there and take it down to uh, three so I have more space back there. Uh, my transmission lines come across right there also. So I want to get all those lines out of that area. Um, the return line, I'll probably pull over to the transmission. But yeah, that'll come right here. And then I just need a right angle line out of the top, which a right angle fitting out of the top, which I don't have because I didn't want to order anything until I was sure of what I needed. But what I need is two right angle fittings, it looks like. So um, I'm going to mock all that up. I have my bolts. I forgot the length of these. I'll put it on the screen for you though. Um, and my 3D printed uh, spacers for my injectors to the rail. So we can drop those on in and bolt the rails down. Um, and we'll be getting really close to uh, actually firing this thing up. There is one thing that you need, which came in my kit from Pace, but it can come from any wire, but this is a PCM. On this content sensor, there's a ground, a switch 12 volt, and then one wire goes to the PCM and that's it. That's all it needs to be able to sense uh, E85 content. So why am I not putting this down on my frame rail? Because I'm lazy and I don't want to drain into, drill into my frame and I can just stand right here and do it and it doesn't make a bit of difference where it's at. So, uh, I'll bring you guys back when I have it mounted up. So, there it is, mounted up. Uh, might be a little bit hard to see, but we got the line coming in the bottom. It will come out the top, cross over to the fuel rail. 
the end. Uh, the only thing left to do with this is make a short line right there, which I have the line. I just wasn't sure if I needed right angle fittings or not, um, which I do. So yeah, we'll make a line right there, hook the lines back up. Uh, the next thing is a computer. We'll set the computer up, a little bit more wiring. We'll go over all that. Uh, spark plugs. I still haven't found my wastegate, so I am gonna need to buy one, I guess. But uh, I literally found that stupid thing before I moved shops too. But anyway, um, we can fire it without a wastegate. So I'm gonna have to go in there. I'm actually gonna have to, what I have on my transmission are right angle AN lines, cause it's kind of close. I'm gonna have to unhook these from the radiator and run them forward. To the radiator like that um, and shorten them up they're way too long so but i'll do all that another day i have nice pants on today i wouldn't want to upset mrs engineer so thank you guys for watching i hope this helps there will be part numbers on the screen or links in the description for anything you might want to buy uh if you have any questions hit me up down below and uh we'll have daryl out on the streets pretty soon Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.